And that's just the idea of the show in general, which is that can I tell you exactly how this works and how I'm manipulating you? And then also give you the true heart of the thing as yeah. well. A lot of people consider Inside to be Bo's masterpiece, but I think Make Happy is where he truly does the impossible. It seems to me that if a performer wants to immerse you, the most counterproductive thing they could do would be to endlessly remind you that A, you are watching a performance, and B, all performance manipulates and lies to you. Entertainers, they are lying and they are manipulating you. This is exactly what Bo Burnham does, and he still manages to get his audience to quote, cry over an auto-tuned song about Pringles cans and burritos. This begs the question, how? The first thing Bo does is to constantly remind the audience they're watching a show. If you want to start the show, the show is a series of discrete bits. Say, There's what a is, what is audience mean? full of people. So as we get to the end of a night of theater, I put on a silly show. Now the show is done. But this isn't the difficult part. Even Bo will tell you that ironic self-awareness is so easy a caveman can do it. The most ironic shit online is Geico commercials where they're yeah. going on being like, this is a Geico commercial, wink, and it's mm -hmm. like, f*** you. Yeah. And it's like Deadpool, it's like a $200 million movie winking at you. It, it, yeah. just, it just feels, ugh. The difficult part is to elicit the burrito tears despite the winks, despite the reminders that I'm not honest for a second up here. To accomplish this feat, Bo was influenced by author David Foster Wallace, a writer known for writing difficult things. Wallace said that this task is so difficult, if someone could do it, it would create, quote, the perfect thing. The perfect thing would have both a full, like, intellectual aesthetic and an absolutely full um, emotional effect. It's actually going to do the most fatal thing. It's going to remind you that you're reading words on a page, and we can still knock your damn socks off. This goal is something that Wallace pursued in his own work. Before writing his seminal novel, Infinite Jest, Wallace wrote a novella whose narrator repeatedly interrupts the reader's immersion into the story by saying things like, quote, this is pretty much the climax of the whole journey, by the way. Bo explains it better than I do. I love David Foster Wallace, and like his, his early uh, short story collection, Girl with Curious Hair, ends with this 80-page long story, and it ends with the narrator breaking, and the last line says, you are loved. That was his last line before Infinite Jest, saying that was his mission statement, to say, f*** all all these irony post meta modern people that came before me and irony is not enough just you know acidic tearing down of shit's not enough i love you through wallace bo identified that ironic self-awareness is an empty goal the meaningful difficult goal would be to immerse the audience despite the irony and this is what bo pulls off and make happy undercutting the tension of his own show bo reminds the audience they're being manipulated dozens of times and yet each time they laugh the fact that Bo's repetition never feels repetitive, the fact it's always surprising to the audience is proof to the immersion Bo creates in the spaces between each reminder. Reset the momentum, I cannot be coasting off the inertia of past jokes. Where Bo's technique is to remind you you're watching a show, his final David Foster Wallace emotional effect is to reveal that you watching the show is a problem. The truth is my biggest problem's you. A part of me loves you. A part of me hates you. I don't think that I can handle this right now. I don't think that I can handle this, right? What's cool is that the this really is this. Yeah. And the now really, really is now. It's very literal. I cannot handle performing in front of you people. It this, gives yeah. me panic attacks. I want to stop. And I did. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so. <laughs> And I don't know if Make Happy really is the perfect thing, but for me, it achieved something close to impossible. 